everyone thank you for coming back to Deb Chanel's 48 Swirl where you're getting the news on entertainment and celebrities and their comings and goings okay mostly when they're doing something crazy out in those streets all right but we're going to get this commentary from Hollywood Life yes they are giving us some celebrity tea on Miss Phaedra Parks okay so yes that's Phaedra that's Faye. But Faith ain't doing nothing but telling lies out in these streets. And she's coming to be something like Nene. Boasting of herself. And she should not be really boasting. But I guess in a sense she's kind of much, so much telling the truth. She can't come back unless the powers that be will let her come back. And since she did that little infringement on Miss Candy Burris and Miss Burris, Burris Tucker I should say. She's still running over there. Trying to run things at Bravo, I guess. Or being on a good side so she can make, um, what do you call it? She can make suggestions, I should say. Uh, on what, who should come back, who shouldn't come back. What a good look it would be, what a good look it wouldn't be. And how it would affect her and her family. Okay, but like I said, Candace should be way over that. Because she definitely was on her dungeon tour similar to what they were had already put out there on her that she was doing and all this that and the third she made money off of it but i don't know what the statute of uh, limitations are that she can file something against them meaning bravo uh to kind of prevent them from ever having phasia pause back on the show but hey to me she like nene she needs that money and we don't want Sheree to come back but she came back Portia might come back season 15. I don't know. Uh, it's too soon to tell. It's 12.37. But uh, Portia could be in good standards to come back. After she makes a fool of herself and her family. When she finished doing her little show over there. But if you know. She's gearing to what ratchetness is all about. So if you're in tune. And she and her family wants to be shown as ratchetness. She's doing a good thing. She don't sell her soul to ratchetness. So that's what she's giving. That's what the people want. And that's what she's serving up. So we can't fault her. If that's what she want to be. We're going to let her stay on over there. Okay. But Phaedra. Uh -uh, the hairstyle is not doing it for me. Well it's not the hairstyle. It's the co uh, color. You kind of look like Morticia. On the Addis family. Don't like it. Love that little frosted uh, brown auburn black going on. Love all those kind of colors on you. Love that little shade. But no. Honey. We know you got fire. It's okay. Just put it up, chalk it up to success. If you ain't got fired on a job, I guess you wasn't good enough to get fired. But, you know, people have got fired for less than that, you know. So, it is what it is. All right. So, and I wouldn't look at fire being a bad thing. It's just maybe you and the, the company or organization you were working for, y'all just didn't share the same values as time went on. And, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And they had to do what they got to do. And both parties... Or hopefully it was an amicable move. But if it wasn't, you know, you still want to stay there. Then I, I don't know what to tell you. Just chalk it up to uh, experience and move on. And don't cross that bridge again. And don't talk badly about them. Uh, just in case somebody that left that company may, you know, still like that you and thought they did you wrong. And they may employ you. But if you go in and be trying to talk bad about, you know, your prison employee, it just, it just don't fare out well. Just say it like... Basically, we had to go separate ways. We had to part. Because every time, you know, you're not going to necessarily stay with a company. If you're lucky and you, you, you have a company you work for and you love them and they love you bad, it's a reciprocated type of transaction. Uh, but if you don't, you know, it may be time for you to leave do some other things, you know. Because everybody needs to be happy. The company needs to be happy. You need to be happy. And, and you know, that's good karma going all the way around. But, you know, Faye Paul was asked a long time ago, you know, would she return back to reality TV shows? And she said no. Well, lo and behold, look at, look at, look at, here comes Cookie. And I'm like, Prince, you know, when he was still living and he gave those, oh, Lord, uh, those little facial expressions. <laughs> I had to use them in my clips. Cat Williams is in my commentary sometimes. And Claire Huxtable, well, we know her as Felicia Rashad. But if we really know her, we know her as Claire Huxtable on the Cosby Show. Okay, so you and Whitney Houston, you would definitely see her and her facial expressions throughout some majority of my videos. Those are my four characters I love to circulate in my commentary. So get used to it. We all know that um, 
they are this well cat ain't deceased and claire Huss was not deceased but whitney and prince are deceased but they had made some uh, good jiffies and and good facial expressions i could not leave them out okay because they they was looking how i was feeling all right but i'm just saying we get this report from hollywood life on whether phaedra parts uh will come back to the show and that's a big no 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 she wants to in our heart of hearts but the powers that be still got her on that no list just like they had um marlo hampton on that no list when she had called out the gays and and, and said some things about them that were nice you know one tasteful and they had to kind of blackball her and she had to like uh pay for her <sighs> ignorance or whatever you want to call it on offending them okay so um you know she made amends she, um she fell in their good graces and and it was like he couldn't do anything but say nice things about her because she had learned from her experience uh so that's what it is we need to learn we need to grow and we need to mature in certain de dealings uh with business and in our life uh livelihood we need to uh learn from our experiences go forth and be better we can't be treading water and still want to do all this horrific uh nonsense type of stuff out there that nini is still doing and people are giving her passes and like i said i'll give nini a year i'll give her a year because you know <sighs> when you lose someone you, you love to care about and it changes your whole life uh and that's what greg did he upset the balance of her normal life that she was normally living and she's acting out i mean just acting out real bad well she was acting out before he died but we're just gonna get her a pass because it just compounds uh the negativity that she will be spewing out for the next year now she don't get over it within a year because Greg died in september i think it was september 1st of this year if she don't get her shit together by september 1st of 2021 i don't know what to say for it because <coughs> i like you don't have no time of grieving but people are not going to be uh sympathetic and empathetic you know they were like okay now you had a whole year to get yourself together <coughs> and come back and, and conduct yourself in another different way because you know that way wasn't working for you uh you know we're we looking for growth here and with the stuff you still spraying out your mouth okay we may not can handle some of it but we, we're trying to give you the benefit of the doubt that's the same thing with phaedra we're trying to get her the uh, benefit of the doubt you know can you don't mind her coming back i don't guess portia gives one uh shoelaces of a, a tennis shoe if she come back either because uh, you know i'm pretty sure she would be uh received very well for season 15 if she wanted to come back <coughs> um i'm the person that really have a problem with it would probably be um like i said candy and candy should not have any pull over there and I'm, i i hope some statutory statutory laws or, or, or when you can sue somebody and when you can't are uh, exhausted you know what i'm saying maybe that's what they waiting on because they, they, they ain't gonna have no black girl black lady black woman however you want to see candy black black businessman woman telling them what they're gonna do with their show believe me they have been looking for loopholes and statutories uh statuses on the laws of what we can do and about the situation what we can't do they just buying their time and when they get ready to bring back the phone to the real housewives of atlanta trust me they ain't gonna be worried about what candy got to say or none of that okay because her lights her rights her limited uh say and powers that be gonna be on uh expired okay and then they're gonna probably show her the dough because they're getting rid of these old jeans like they're getting rid of sweaters uh that were back in the day itching you i don't know what the kind of sweater was it might have been acrylic or something like that but they had to get all the ones that you have clothes that had a tag on that irritate your skin or be getting on your nerves could be scratching up against the skin you know they're gonna be they're gonna be tagless and, and candy gonna be uh without real housewives of atlanta but like i said for all the naysayers that say she got it going on she got it good she don't need to show i wish she get on off the show prove it pr pr show and prove is what i'm talking about show and prove that you could do without the show okay but like i said but she can it just is what it is she don't have no husband like tiny has ti out there trying to make things happen uh for the worst for the better it don't matter you know it really don't matter when it comes to them too 
tying into ya. They still gonna uh, make some work out there. But see, we, we don't see what Todd doing. So see, she, she by herself. She's still by herself trying to do the whole thing, trying to have the whole world on her shoulders. And I, I feel for her. But then you need to get with a man that's gonna show and prove, Candy. Get a man with a show and prove, not just with a good dick, okay? Because, you know, you can get along with some things. And, and you don't have to be served and, 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 and tied down to that penis, okay? Because we know you go, you bisexual. You go either way. So you need to just find somebody who you, you can't control pretty much and they can't control you but y'all equals you see what i'm saying but yeah um i found this story with phage paws and you know she was getting on my nerve i'm like girl if you want to come back come back but it just seems like she can't come back she can't come back to the powers that be tell her she can come back because if she could come back she would be on that show just like she on the ultimate girls trip now if you tired of reality shows that's a reality show in itself as well phaedra so i don't know you're talking about the side of your neck or something and it got me disturbed because you always come you know straight ahead you're a straight shooter and when i saw this video i mean saw this um commentary that you had said you don't want to do reality tv no more because it shows a, a negative side and you got your kids now you had your kids then you had your kids then all right and this is what it is. You chose this life. They ain't chose, you know, they just came to your door knocking saying, are you interested? You could have said no. Keep it moving. And you just been in your mortuary, mortuary business as well as your legal firm. You could have just did that and just stayed out of reality TV. But see, you got bit by the bug. And you love the limelight. You love, you know, moving and shaking with people that you normally wouldn't come across in your line of work. And, and you love it. You love it. You know, because you're changing all these hairstyles. You're dropping weight. You know, looking good and stuff. But don't, don't put that Morticia hair back on your head no more. Because you look like a damn fool. I'm just saying, you just look like a fool. But, um, uh, let me just get on into this story that Cynthia Cook and Lane Brady brought out on Hollywood Life. Okay, they titled it Federal Parks Reacts to a Possible Return to Real, Real Housewives of Atlanta and teases Rowdy Season 2 of All Stars. Well, we don't care too much about All Stars. It's on the Peacock channel. I have no reason or any, uh, how do you call it, any interest of looking for uh, signing up for another streaming service. Can't do it, won't do it, ain't gonna do it. Okay, but going into this article, it says Phaedra Parks is back on Bravo and better than ever. The Real Housewives of Atlanta alum exclusively caught up with HL, HL Mini Hollywood Life to dish on the Ultimate Girls Trip. Plus, if she'll ever return to Roa, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, former Roa star Phaedra Parks may have taken a little break from reality TV, but now the OG is back. The 48-year-old, who I really think is 50, but who am I? You know, who am I? 48 year old who just shed, shed away 18 pounds spoke exclusively with Hollywood Life recently to dish on her part in the Roa Ultimate Girls Trip. Uh, oh, well, you know, that other uh, OG has been show that they brought out. Oh, yeah. Wow. Also, f future seasons of the Roa. The former housewife's uh, wife talks with. Wait a minute. The former Housewife Talks, which co-stars of the Real Housewives of, um, what do you call it, Ultimate Girls Trip, left a lasting impression on her while answering to the thought of it, what's on everybody's mind. Will she ever return to the original friend cast? Uh, franchise now you know ain't nobody caring about whether Fred is on that old sh that uh, new show that they just brought out we don't give two shits of a shit's tale of her staying over there being on there or what she's doing over there okay we want her back on Roa she ain't back on Roa we could care less where she's at on whatever other franchise unless she going to that Dubai thing and then we know she got major money or fronting like she do okay but anyway um it says Hollywood Life, you said no more reality TV, but you just did Ultimate Girls Trip Season 2. Now, see, they called and fade her out. Yes, they did, because at one point in time, she said no more reality TV. Now, where she at? Filming. Okay, so her bag is must be getting low. Her bag account must be getting low over there, too. If she has to subsidize and come and do supplemental work with a franchise, they ain't nothing but ratchetness, okay? It ain't wholesome at all. So what are you teaching your boys now? You don't think they're going to see it? Girl, please. 
please their friends gonna see it and their friends gonna be talking about it and they're gonna make them interested in trying to see what's going on and they're gonna see it Phaedra they're gonna see it's archived it's out there it's gonna be there for many 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 moons to come okay so you can't hide it from them you might well go and tell them okay um then it says Phaedra Parks Brandy Glanville was the one person everyone said was going to be crazy but I adored her from day one and I had a conversation with her I adore her she's a great heart and she's sweet okay and Hollywood asked her another question what was your experience overall what can you tease for the fans Phaedra said the girls got routed within the first couple of hours and uh Hollywood asked her how was Dorinda Medley as a host and Phaedra commented, now that's another person I fell in love with. I love her. When I tell you, it was a very interesting cast, but I fell in love with Dorinda. She reminds me so much of myself. She wants to smoke. She wants to smoke. Dorinda, boy, you want to take her to a fight. Okay, well, Phaedra, I want to say, ain't nobody got time for fighting, okay? Not fist fighting, not uh, hugging fighting, not none of that kind of fighting. All right, we just don't have time. If they want to put up the paws, I got to go. <laughs> okay, because I'm too damn old. And you too damn old to be talking about you want to fight. Whether it's verbally or whether it's uh, me putting paws on somebody. And that's assault charge too. It's not pretty. You should know better than that, Phaedra. Okay, but anyway, we're going back to Hollywood Life's questioning. They said when you left, were you happy that you didn't have to film a whole housewife season now? Or were you not ready to go? Phaedra uh, responded, no, I kept in touch with ed everyone. Vicki Gunnison and I have spoken several times tomorrow uh tamara judge as well everyone i have really kept in touch with even marcel and i talk all the time our kids play sports together so i see her and talk to her all of the time she's a scorpio and what do the zodiac signs got to do with a hell of a beans uh page but okay you're trying to make a comparison i see you all right um then hollywood life asks her another question would you ever return phaedra I've evolved, and so I love that the fans want me back, but my children are at an age. The Housewife is an awesome platform, but it comes with issues. And so to be a great parent and to be a, a responsible parent, I think that that would not be a responsible decision. Well, see, Phaedra, you contradicting yourself. Because if uh, Kenya and um, so like Singer was over there calling each other bitches and hoes and all that kind of situation, and you were a part of that. Don't you think your son's going to see that? And they're going to like, Mom, why that woman calling her a bitch and a hoe? What, what's going on? What happened? Uh, you're going to have to do some explaining to your son. So reality show is a reality show. So you're talking out the side of your neck, Phaedra, okay? This is not true you. But um, if you want to play like you're stupid and everything. But I promise you. And I ain't a bad woman. If Bravo said they want you back in whatever capacity and they going to pay you royally, your behind will be over there. So talk is cheap. Action speaks louder than words, Phaedra. So I'm calling you out on that mess that you said. Okay, Hollywood Life asked her another question. A lot of people would love to know, have you run, wait a minute, have you run into any candy brewers? okay <laughs> mm. yes uh a lot of people would love to know have you run into her honey over the years have you spoken to her girl they've getting down in the meeting greet with her on that situation but phaedra royally responded we've seen each other maybe once but i live in buckhead and i'm like phaedra that is just piss poor uh, a, a a negative type of response. It, that wasn't positive at all, and that was being shady. And to bet, I would say you probably saw her from afar. Y'all didn't cross streets. Y'all didn't cross paths. It was nothing like that. So it is what it is. You did what you did, and it didn't work out for you in the way you thought it would. <sighs> Just water over the bridge. You and Candy need to grow up. Y'all need to mature, and y'all need to go out there and make money. Okay, but it seems like y'all both want to stop each other back for some reason. And both of y'all want to talk negatively about each other and don't want to give it up. So, all the branch to both of y'all, okay? All the branch is too much money out there for you all to be making, especially if y'all want to be still part or be known on a ratchet uh, platform to advertise and uplift your personal businesses that's just this what it is you know what i'm saying that's, you, know, you can sugarcoat it you can put it in another light but it's still you a part of ratchetness and it's paying some of your bills if not all your bills okay and y'all both love it 
Uh, going back to the article, uh, they had another question, Hollywood Life for Phaedra. They said, well, fans see you in a different light on Ultimate Girls Trip. And that's why you did it because the way you left off wasn't how you wanted to uh, leave off with the franchise. Phaedra answered, no, I did it because Andy Cohen absolutely asked me to. So if Andy Cohen or the powers that be to ask you to come back to Roa with you, that's what would have been the question I would have asked. Normally, she would have said, Yes, I will be back. Undisputed, unchallenged, yes, I will be back. But she would have us to believe at this time that she's not with the Ratchet TV show. She will not be a part of Roa because it was uh, beneath her and all this other kind of crap. Okay? But she said if Andy Cohen asked her to come back, she would. Okay, but Hollywood Life also asked her this question. Have you been approached to return? We know you're good friends with Andy Steele. And then she goes back and says the same old mess. Okay, she says people ask me every year. I'm approached at some part of the year. But it's just not something I want to do. But you want to do that ultimate girls trip and they paid you nicely for it. Which is a reality show that Andy Cohen is a part of. So, yeah, again, you're talking outside of your neck and you're not talking truth. Phaedra. I did it for eight years of my life. Uh, of my kids were born. Both of my kids were born on the TV show. It's a lot. So for all of those eight years, for all of the things that I shared with the world, I think I would go down in history as being one of the best for that franchise. Ah, you would. Yeah, I can't say that. Toot your own horn. Uh, and then she goes and say Hollywood Life. They announced. Uh, they just announced a new cast. Sheree Whitfield is coming back. Marlo Hampton will be a full-time peach holder. And Fred just said, I don't follow the show. I love Sheree. I don't think anything about it. I don't follow. Now, that's a, a blatant lie as well. If you don't follow, meaning watching the show, you watch the previews. You watch what social media is saying about them. How could you not? You say you're still in um, talks with Andy Cohen. So, I'm sure he's telling you everything about it. Or, you know, you wouldn't have known about the Ratchet TV show that you're appearing on on Peacock. The Ultimate Girls Trip. It is still a part of the Bra franchi Bravo franchise. And still a part of the Housewives franchise. So, you still want to be stuck. But you don't want to be labeled. Because it doesn't favor you in a favorable position. So I say, Phaedra, get a life. Stop playing into the old adage of, no, I don't want to be a part of the role. I know I, mm -hmm. I did this and that like you got it all. It's just because you made that little slide dig and shady comment that you live in Bucky, Honey, Bucky ain't doing nothing but paying you uh, or you paying them a lot of money, a lot of taxes for lesser than what you would get out in Alpharetta, Duluth, Stockbridge, um, Oconee. Honey, it's some very much so affluent people that make much more than you that are movie stars that live out in the places that I just named. And you talking about a mansion and land acres, okay? You just moved up because you like the limelight, which you really shouldn't be there because you have kids, like you said. They need that fresh air. They need that community type of uh, uh, relationship, uh, community building. You in the wrong place, baby. You out there like you single. Ain't nothing downtown or close to downtown or in the Buckhead area is the limelight, the nightlife. And that ain't got nothing that's talking about kids. So don't be dishing bad on Candy because she lives out in the suburbs, okay? Suburb life is where you want to be when you have young kids. Not out there in the limelight where they can be tossed around and, 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 and dealt with a, a totally different way. So now Buckhead is not where, it won't, where you want to be unless you want to pay a lot more taxes. You want to get a lot less space as far as uh, apartments because that's pretty much what you have downtown. If you do have houses, they so cramped up and they, they kind of look like townhomes. And you pay a heck of a lot of money for no land, no space. You're just paying for a gated community with some amenities. But nah, Phaedra, don't play with me because I live in Atlanta. And I know where the fluent live. And I know where um, they get their best book for the money. Okay. So we just is where we is with Phaedra. Phaedra, you look wonderful. Just change that hair color, baby, because it really makes you look older than what you really are. Okay, because you're looking about 60 or 70. 
uh, with that hair color and you know you look so vibrant and together even though that's when you were basically getting put off the show because you had told some tales and you said Carlo King had told you but you're a grown ass woman and you're a lawyer you know better you know better you just too edgy you want it to be that it factor it girl but it didn't play out on your part so that's all i got on phaedra paul she's still full of shit uh even though i really did want her to come back but after reading this article i ain't got nothing for her. i ain't got nothing for her. okay but if y'all like it love it and y'all want to see more of these videos please don't hesitate but to subscribe to the channel to hit the notification button bo uh notification bell button and you'll know when i upload and drop videos okay and then i would like for you to like and share my videos that's how i get out there and entertain more and more people okay but i gotta go now i'll probably be working on more videos but um i'm done with this video okay Talk to you later. Bye-bye.